Hi guys, Rich Muller here for the Shade Tree CNC. This week we're going to do a V-carve using F engrave and it's from scorchworks.com and it's really easy software and it's free. So let me show you how it works. So first we'll start off by cutting ourselves a blank and we'll just measure it off and cut it off here on our table saw. Now I have threaded inserts in my CNC table, so I like to use wedges against fixed blocks. And so I just go ahead and throw in some fixed blocks, bolt them down, and then tighten everything up with some wedges. Okay, at this point we get ready to find the center of our board and zero, zero. And so now we'll go ahead and talk about the software. So we go ahead and open F engrave and it comes up in the engrave mode. So we'll select the uh, V carve mode and basically we'll set our height to 10 inches because that's how tall we want the image. And then we'll go ahead and set the origin to the center of the page. And that way we can then move on to setting up the actual V-carve bit that we're going to use. So up at the top, we'll select settings and the V-carve bit. Here we'll set a 60 degree bit and then I'll also set the limit depth to being only 0.2 of an inch. So now we'll go into the standard settings menu and this menu is very important. There are some things called arc uh, angle and if you're using X carves or sharing X carves you want to select none otherwise your code will not be able to run the other thing is is that this software was originally written for to generate variables for a particular mill you must turn that off so under the select um, variables you need to check make sure that's checked so now you go ahead and click the v-carve and what happens is we draw tangent circles to all of the areas that are going to be v-carved and the diameter of that circle sets the depth of the v so here we have it the program is completed and we're now looking at the actual tool path that's going to be run so back to the the CNC and we'll go ahead and run the code. So at this point I found that the feed rate was really slow. It was only set at five inches per minute and I didn't quite get the zero right on the top of my board so the 30 thousandths in depth um, most of the fine detail did not machine the first time around. So I went ahead and let it machine and then I went back and ran the program again resetting zero to actually be 30 thousandths below the top surface to compensate for any board warpage and ran that code. So here we run an OG bit around the face of it to kind of give it uh, the looks of a frame. Here we went ahead and used some pecan one-step um, uh, polyurethane from Minwax. And I gotta tell you, it took forever to dry and when it got done, I didn't like the looks of it. So I w waited for it to dry, spray painted it black, and then proceeded to sand the entire surface off. Left the pecan on the edges because that kind of looked two-toned and I thought that was kind of cool.
So here we decided to use just some plain, ordinary, um, clear shellac. And we're just going to paint the entire surfaces all around. And we're getting pretty close to the end here, so uh, we'll throw a few coats down and let it dry. So at this point, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like what I do, please share it, uh, like it, and subscribe.